Hello Space Engineers, Wellington6012 here, and welcome back to Scrapyard here in my little office. Uh, yes. So, yeah, I've, um, I've been away from the game a little while, and last time, sort of, I was here, uh, it was actually the man in the blue suit doing some stuff. So, yeah, this is just to confuse things. Last episode on the main channel was episode 33. There was two extra content episodes, which hopefully you might have seen linked some way, somehow. Uh, otherwise, I'll put something up in the top corner, you know, up, up, up in there somewhere, I think is where it turns out. Uh, yes, so Future Wellington did some stuff, uh, went and did a lap around the planet and made a new base which is over there the halfway house so that was all quite fun it was uh it was a big old big old stint for future wellington uh so there's a pile of stuff on the barge out there that we'll have a look at so if you want to go back and watch that video by all means uh it's not critical kind of to the story it's just getting a whole lot of stuff so that's why i didn't sort of include it in the main channel um so back to business as usual for the man in the red suit so this is what i did at the end of episode 33. So there's a whole lot of other stuff that Future Wellington did that's not on this list. So to-do list, habitation, and hydro tanks to fill. So the orbital launch vehicle. So that's what we're actually going to do today. I need to do some other stuff first. But uh, uh, off-camera updated the... Hang on, let's just get rid of those things because they are in the way. Uh, updated the to-do list master... Uh, changed master... Oh, okay, so this is the master screen now. That's, that's what that is. Uh, altered pipe route by the tank farm. I don't remember doing that. That was, you know, that was a while ago. Uh, and settlements, plane, hangar with battery, hangar, solar, and hydro tank. The battery. Now, I remember that because that was Future Wellington had to take that off the barge because I left it on there. <laughs> okay, so what did I do? I think, I don't know if you've seen this. I just sort of started doing a, 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 a rooftop garden -y type thing but sort of came up on that uh, yeah so that's that um, pipe work down by the hydrogen pipe work by the hydrogen um, by the hydrogen oh that's this pipe yeah okay yep I get that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the spot. Yeah, okay, so I... Oh, go me. So I did that. Um, that's probably new and stuff. Uh, I've only got two gaps there, but I think I've got... How many tanks did I bring back? Hyd ooh, hydrogen tanks? Uh, hang on, just be with me. Uh, oh, and this thing. Oh, it's even worse now. <laughs> Every time I load the game, this is just... They're much worse. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so here's my stack of stuff. Oh, look at that. Go, future Wellington. Well done, my friend. Uh, grab you first. So, yeah, this this is my haul. I, I, I left it on here because uh, I thought, why not? Leave it on here. Um... This is pretty much done now, the barge. I, at this stage, I haven't published it. Do need to put... Oh, now who... It was, I think it was Mr. Steve said you should put a, 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 a downward light. Not, not one of these downward lights, like one on a hinge or a spotlight or something. So you can see the ground. Because I was struggling a little bit with that in the dark. Uh, which is a good idea. So we've got some thrusters. Oh, we've got these ones as well. Okay, do I own you? Yes, I do so we can make you green um so okay what I'll, what I'll do is 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 so I want to unload this <laughs> there's thrusters everywhere uh, okay let's let's do this thing let's just start unloading um do I own that? No, I need to. It's incomplete. I do own it, but it's incomplete. So, we do that. Very good. Okay, so where's my... I think my hydrogen thing is in here. My... I haven't got lots of little blocks, but... Yeah, okay. So, right. 
plan of attack. I need to unload this. I'll probably turn the camera off for that because it'll take a while. Um, and there is a signal over there. And there's also one down there, which is the farm, which I just, just did the intro video for. Um, so I know what that is. There's also a gas station over there. And there is a warehouse over there, but the gas station. So I think once I unload this, I'll swing over there, see what that is. I'll swing around there, get some stuff out of there, and then I'll swing back to the gas station. Because the gas station have lots of um, components, because we haven't got heaps of components. And I'm talking about interior plates. I mean, we've got a few, but actually we have got a few. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. Maybe maybe because of what I got on this. Um, but yeah, we need to... Oh, I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to sort out this stuff. So if I just pick all of that in there, we'll just have a coffee to start with as well. Uh, so... I think it's this one here, actually. Yep, it's the one there. Okay, so let's put you in there and you in there. And we'll go into the assembler. Okay, and we'll put all of those in there. We'll go to production and we'll disassemble all of them. And then there's also the tools. So all of oops all of these disassemble all okay so that'll get rid of all of that so that's going to give us a little bit of stuff which would be cool yeah not heaps but it's fine better than nothing uh yeah it's shame i can't make small steel tubes and stuff anyway it's fine uh yeah okay so that's kind of that unloaded i think Get a few of those, it'd be good to get uh, something else to break in the connector. Oh look, there's two there as well. So we need to do that also. That adds them, which is good. Yeah, okay, that's fine. It doesn't duplicate, which can be a little bit of a problem. Uh, yeah, so we're getting a few things in there, which is good. So that's good, good, good. And then, so that's, that's that, got some large hydrogen thrusters, I'm pretty sure there is stuff in here, yes there is, there's a whole lot of stuff in there, so I'll have to empty that out, um, which is not going to be super easy, okay, so anyway, um, that's that, I will unload this, and, oh, there'll be stuff in here too, yeah. <laughs> Lots of stuff. So it's a pretty good haul. Future Wellington has done extremely well. Very well. Um, so there's all that stuff there. And... All that stuff there. Yep. Go, Future Wellington. Well done. Um, I tell you what, if you're not going to watch those videos, the Future Wellington's videos, I will just quickly show you uh, the halfway, 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 halfway house. Oh, it's dark. Um, that's it there. Okay, so yeah, that came out real good. It's um, got a landing pad for the barge. Uh, I don't know how you're doing. You're still, you're still filling up. Yep, still filling up. Hopefully, there's some ice still in there. Um, power was one of the big issues, which is not really an issue now. That's charging up. Nice little shed. It's comfortable. Nice space. Yep. 
it was a good time. Uh, and you can't see it right now, but here's some forestry that I put in and whatnot. So, yeah. So that's, um, that's that. Back to here. Uh, so yeah, I'll, um, I'll just unload all this. And I think that's all empty. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll press the big green button and that will get everything all sorted. Uh, yeah. So, leave this with me. Yeah, so I've done the bulk of it, but I figure I'd better turn the camera back on at some point. So just hit these down here. Like so. Enough. Uh, right, so then we've got uh, the hydrogen tanks. <sighs> Which one? One will have to go in there actually. Uh, let's also let's just change the colour of these because these are oxygen tanks, these aren't hydrogen. They are oxygens. So we'll make them hmm, make that colour. No. We'll make them that colour. Or white. Make them white actually. Makes sense. Right. Uh, that's that. Do you have ownership of you? No. Okay, we better sort that out. Ah, we'll worry about that later. Uh, right. Okay. So I've already I've already put one of these on. So let's do the other one. Oh, the space has come up so well. Um super happy with it which you know this this was part of the reason why i played the um, scrapyard scenario it was actually just to have a reason to build a, an earth like planet base um yeah i mean it's it's really just yeah it is what it is i'm gonna have to name these things as well aren't i uh, that's that. i think we can maybe put you in here no actually hang on gotta get that one off gotta get that one off since so we've got the technology oh i know what we need so we need to chuck all that stuff in the um in the in the pit as well so actually we'll just stick this here for now twisty thing on it and I can't lift it that's annoying that's that's a bit of a <laughs> that's a bit of a design fault mind we can do some shenanigans so Job done. Uh, so yeah, today is uh, is just going to be a bit of a, a bit of a clean up day, I think. I don't think I'm really going to worry too much about getting. Whoops. I pressed the wrong button. No. Right, that's it. Press number seven instead of number eight. Yeah, I, you know, I want to make a start on the orbital thing, but uh, I think it's really going to be just a case today of doing some bits and pieces, and uh, trying trying to get some little little wins. Yeah, I mean, we need to work more on the on the habitation, of course. Need a bed is what I need. Uh, you can probably oh, we'll just give them a little bit of a shove in because they are sticking out a little bit. Hello.
Uh, yeah, I organised the those bins as well, so that's sorted. Job done. Stuck. Okay. Up here. Just take the old shortcut. Got all these stairs, but end up taking the shortcut all the time. Okay, so you are called that. So this is going to be number five. And you're going to be number six. Very good. Um, probably need some sort of display. I mean, sort of see that they're full, but. Mm -hmm. uh, that one? It's pretty good shot. Oh, I wasn't really expecting them to be able to place actually, because uh, we are upside down. Because uh, of the voxel, which is interesting. Funny how you can put one of those there, but you can't put a sensor in. Needs numbers. Uh, that one. Somewhere. There it is. Uh, yellow. So four, five, six. Nice, nice, nice. That's real cool. You're facing the wrong way, but. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's that's pretty cool. I like that. I like this area. It's yeah, it's come up super well. Uh, let's go like this. May as well try and use the stairs. Okay, so these grids that need to be dumped. So you're pretty much good to go as is. You have a drill on the back of you. That I was not expecting. Uh, let's just get some stuff for that. Get that drill off. I think the drill sh these might be going to space. Can't see myself using them down here. Who knows? Don't know. Enough. Yeah, we need to get the stuff tidied up and um, get into the get out, get get out and grab some stuff. Because yeah, I'm quite keen to do the habitation and not really have it sort of stalled by the lack of materials, which is of course what future islands need a problem with. Um, in regards to yeah running out of small steel tubes and stuff and which was fine so I'm just doing this just to try and try and keep the old entity list kind of in uh, kind of like that I might just also just get rid of the stuff that's around the halfway house uh, distance from players so is that the, that's the remote outpost? But that must be the halfway house there. Remote outpost. That's funny. Oh, okay. That's that's interesting. How it's just just exactly the same distance away. Okay, so hangar, static grid, small grid, uh, rust and ruby desert base. So where are those trees? Because I would have thought those trees were... Yeah, they are. Static grid. Okay, so that's the static grid there. Okay, well that's a little bit annoying actually because that's all... 
all those things are kind of in the same places. Okay, we'll deal with that one later, I think. <laughs> That's all too hard. Because the distances are all a bit samey. Okay, so this is now ready to go into the hole. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, there's a there's battery or something in there, but I don't think we need to worry about that. Um, yeah. Need to finish this off at some point. Yeah, I need to sort out those wheels. It's really annoying that. Part of the problem is this keeps flopping down. And, mm, anyway. The future ones can deal with that one. Uh, so this plane... Oh, look, there's a big thruster on there. Mm. Okay, well, we might just get you off. Although it's one of the old school ones. No, I might chuck that in the pit. Because we've got heaps of the, the other ones. I mean, I'd even suggest that we don't need... We don't need that one, because we've got these. Um, so we'll hiff, we'll hiff this into the pit. Just make sure there's not like a little hydrogen one hiding somewhere. No. Oh, this will be quite cool to drop in the pit. Hmm, might need to pick it up by the end. Will it fit? <laughs> That's going to be the problem. I mean, I brought it over here, so... Uh, what's this? Helicopter? Yeah, I don't think this helicopter is going to stay here. Uh, we'll get some metal grids. Finish that off. Oh, look, there's that battery there as well, which is kind of probably surplus to requirements now. Yeah, I think we need to get up into space and have some sort of presence up there. Uh, you can probably just drop in as is, I think. We might try and keep that. What? But I owned it. I'm sure I hacked it. Ow. Silly thing. Now do I own it? Yeah, now I own it. That was annoying. Um, yeah, that's that's all I think I really need out of there. What's that thing that's got? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, so it's just like it's got a control panel on the side like that. Okay. Let's get you quite neat how it's a control panel on the side for a small grid block. A few in here. Yeah, I didn't realise that I actually had... Oh, hang on. Why are you in there? It's getting carried away. First I started putting the hydrogens in this one. Then it's not a hydrogen container. Uh, and this, this one had hydrogen as well. So we've actually got more than what I initially thought. Although there's not heaps. I mean, one, two, three... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's not heaps. It's probably enough, but it's not heaps. Uh, yeah, so we should see if we can find some more. Right, let's hiff this stuff into the hole, and then we will go. And... Check out what's around the place. Something else already in there. Must have been very generous. Future Wellington left the left the button on. Uh, yeah, so that plane, how am I gonna get that? We'll deal with that one. I need 
momentarily. Oh, let's. Let's just want to say, surely, surely one of those little pants has got it. Glug, glug, num, 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 munch, 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 jump, 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 jump. Ah. Oh, there goes a piece. There goes another piece. There goes some more pieces. Uh, and for those that ask about, ooh, for those that ask about lids, oh gosh. Um, lids don't necessarily help because when this stuff gets flung out, it uh, it does actually go through grids maybe even damaging them along the way mm. so really the best the best thing to do is put it underground in the voxel but for this playthrough i'm not particularly worried with that where am i going um yeah i'm not particularly concerned or oh. we'll just tidy it up as we see it I can usually tidy it up with the NG list anyway, so it's fine. Okay. Now, this thing. Oh, I'm going to get you in. Okay, I might just have to kind of lift it from the back. drop it and see what happens. Drop it there and cross my fingers. Hmm. Okay. That's. It's trying. jump up and down on it. <laughs> I can't remember who made that comment, but <laughs> they're quite right. Uh, so... Yeah, it's just not quite getting in there, is it? Kind of need to push it around a bit. Give it a nudge this way, maybe. It's looking better.
There we go. There we go. I think that's it. That's better. Oh, really? Getting that wing, I can see it. Yes, it's got the wing. It's got the wing. Now that's all hooked up. It's not parked there because when I jump out, I'll fall in the pit. Uh, whoa! -oh. That's the problem. I don't have any forward thrust. pushing with must have connected on something hmm okay well okay we're gonna have to lift this up and drop it in I think I think that's got it I know that's got it okay so that's pretty much everything that's gonna go in there created a huge great mess around the place puts of stuff everywhere and yeah, break my thruster. Uh, Very good. Uh, let's just put. There's a thing in there. That's what I want. So you on recharge. Yeah. Well, Sam. Okay, so I think we are just about done there. Uh, yeah. So that's, uh, that's cool. Alright, well, hmm. Can't actually see anything that's flying around there. I know there's bits of shrapnel everywhere, but, you know. It's that. Uh, right, I might just sort out this battery, and I'll just chuck it away somewhere. There's a piece of stuff there. And there'll be a heap out on the lake, probably. Uh, yeah, I'll just sort out that battery and I'll figure out what that thing is over there. It's 3.7 k's away, even though I got my HUD turned off. You need a lot of grids. And there's a whole lot of pain. Uh, yeah, so see you once I find something interesting. Oh, there it is. There it is. Now, I just, while I'm here, I might just make sure I can actually get through here, because this would be the gateway for the, um, for the stomper. Yeah, that's not looking too bad. Yep, that's cool, because this, this... Uh, canyon m meets up with the other um, with the other canyons. Another farm. Ugh. Just came from a farm. Mm. Now something has spawned also back just about just about on top of the base. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Back. This is the same farm as what I just saw before. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just check out what's here. Oof. Just, mm, should probably actually grab another one of those. I know I've got one, but I'm gonna need one for up in space at least. Thank you. Just make a bit of room.
Oops. We didn't get too loaded up, so I'll just tiff it on. Yeah, so that's. I'm not going to worry too much about steel. So we can go through here. Because, yeah, one of my next ventures to get stuff, I think, will be in the Stomper as a bit of a base yes yeah, see all of this is achievable and no it's still in the gully yeah we will be able to get through all that stuff easy so I think I think this is where, yeah, this this is where that wind turbine was once upon a time, and that out there is the way to the desert outpost, the desert cabin. Because it was this way that we got through and we climbed up onto the plateau up here. Okay, so we've got we've got a way to get the stomper through there, which is good. Set it up on the sort of high high ground. High terrain. Which is where the beast came when I was doing the same trip on the High Festus Prime. So that's good. We've got we've got a track. We've got a, a route there, so that's good. Uh, let's head over to this gas station. Uh, I haven't actually checked the gas station, I don't think. I just flew over the top of it, didn't I? I don't know, it was such a long time ago. And it seems to me like the weather's packing in because it's just got very dark. Oh, it rained. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I actually stopped at this one. I just sort of hovered over the top. Uh, the house of cargo. Yeah, I stopped at that one. But I didn't grab anything. So, good to know that they're there. Let's check out this. So I'll just get all the like steel tubes and small steel tubes and things out of there. Yeah, I don't think I'll worry about steel too much. Because, uh, yeah, the um, the thing that was over on the lake was uh, like an ambulance thing. Oh, look, there's some stuff there. What do you got? Okay, we might take you back and just shove you in the hole. Because that's where I can get my steel from. Need some displays to finish up things. Yes. No. 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 Yes. Yep. That's good, Josh. I don't really need a lot of these things. Let's get rid of, like, most of them. And most of them. Oops. Oops. We'll just have a drink of one of those first. Look, look, look. Uh, yeah, cool. All right, we'll uh, we'll take that thing back and we'll shove it in the the world grinding pit. Anything else here is probably all right. Inventory full. And, and we'll see what that uh, what that other thing is. Just, just, oh, actually, I shouldn't have them in there because it's not connected. I should put them in here. You get all you. Oh, we've got some displays as well, which is good because we needed some of them. Finish that off. 
and computers. Right, and uh, that's good. Unlock. Is that thing? Oh, I tell you what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tilt like this. Am I still able to lock on the back one? I think I can. Yes. Okay. Let's uh, let's do our suggested thing. So I've probably got parts to do it. Of putting some lights on. So I think if we just went like that, like that, I just wonder if we put some out here as well. Uh, I mean, if anywhere it would go in there. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it, eh? So, uh, we need to put, I'm just thinking, like that, we need to get these all the same way, it's not the same way, we'll get those two little nicks on top, that one, that one, And that one, because I can link them all in a like group. Okay, that's good. And yeah, and then I think we just put like, well, do we just put these ones on? Kind of thinking like spotlights. Yeah, we'll do spotlights. No glass. There will be some in here. No. No. Yes. 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 Should be enough. Okay, we'll just uh, continue with that. Something over there. I don't know where that other thing is though, because it should have been like over there somewhere. Hmm. Let's just uh, go here and I didn't have enough steel tubes so I'm gonna have to finish finish this. I hope that smoke's coming yeah it's coming from <laughs> don't want don't want more thrusters broken. Oh, there it is. Four kilometers that way. Right. I'm going to sort those out. Uh, we might even. Well, oh, hang on. What are you doing under there? Lordy. Right. Let's do you.
Okay, you're complete, but you're not. Where are you? Hang on. You are. <laughs> it's just a, it's a strange colour. Uh, right. Yeah, now I had this problem. It, it was Oh, now why is it letting me attach it? Didn't let me attach it before. It's annoying. You know, design this thing with those so low that you... I mean, I, mean, I might even raise those up because I keep getting stuck under them. Okay, so that's those. So I need to do some naming. So this is Spotlight. Hang on, what is this called? It is GB84. GB84. And make that... Can we go any further? Yes, we can. 500. Can we make it brighter? So I did think about putting one of the stock standard... Um, one of the normal, not normal, one of the, oh, you know, hang on, oh, words, 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 one of the searchlights, um, and I, then I could have it, like, aim at things, you know, like, I could set it to find neutrals, for instance, that one, uh, but, um, yeah, that, uh, it, I know that it just keeps looking at whatever's attached to this, you know, if I pick up one item, then it's just going to, have it attached to that so it doesn't sort of work such. Uh, hinge, so this can be hinge, light, GB84. Okay, and we will make that like that. Okay, and upper limit should be lower limit. That should be the same for all of them. And then I can put them all in a group. Uh, okay, so... Spotlight... Four... There and there, and then hinge, hinges, lights, TV. That's not what I wanted to do. Why did that do that? That saved it, hasn't it? Hinges, lights. There, yeah, must have not something. Do that. Uh, let's find a spare thing. Uh, lights. Oh, I need to fix this off as well. Ugh. I don't know what those corner lights are. So on or off. Um. Uh, Finish lock on off, reverse, and double block on off. Okay, so now we so we'll go over there. Should we go to that one, which was maybe four kilometers? Let's do that, shall we? Uh, two and eight. Launch. So now, if we go, it was over this way, was it? I'm not sure it was that way. Hopefully, it hangs up on my screen soon. Okay, so then these can go like that out to a angle like that and lock it. Yes. Let's just unlock it briefly. There it is. Oh, yeah. That was an excellent suggestion, uh, Mr. Steve. 
Uh, very good. Very, very good. That's... That enables us to do some night stuff now, really. Hmm. Nice. Okay, well. Let's go back to this. I just need to remember to turn them off during the day. <laughs> what do we got? It is... It's a couple of vehicles, but it looks... Okay, well, what we can do there is we can just... Grab those. Oh, he got some thrusters on the back. And a Winnebago. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm a little bit off there. That's not where I thought I was. Uh, I'll tell you what. I need to get the, the low one first, don't I? I need to get you. So, lock. Go over here and get the bigger one. That is why I didn't grab the steel before, because when this all just ends up in the munching machine. Ah! <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, that's that's excellent. Excellent stuff. Alright, we'll take these back. And uh, yeah, I guess head over the other side of the lake and see what's two kilometres in that direction. Oh, that's something new. A school bus. Let's just have a little bit of a look-see. Don't think I've had a school bus before. Not that I can remember. Uh, okay, that's cool. Okay, oh, it's got one of these things as well. Break that down in a second. Oh, how about that? That's real cool. Hmm. I don't think that's going to go in the grinder pit. I think we might keep that. Hmm. Add it to our collection. We have to kind of fix it. That's fine. Oh, it's an all bus. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take that back, shall we? We'll take it back. Get rid of all this stuff. Things on there. Uh, won't worry about that. I think you're all disconnected. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Try and make it a little bit straight. things in the front. Those are, um, those are thrusters. Hmm. We may need to swap those out, but maybe not, because what's in there? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, oh, that'll be the money thing. Is there money in here? I bet there's money in here. Okay, well that's uh, that's cool. Uh, okay, so yeah, flat ammo's. Hmm. These seats. Oh, the seat. Oh, hang on. Is that that one? No, that's not that one. What does that say? Don't forget to bring it. Oh, nice. Uh, plushy, plushy. One of them. Plushy can probably stay in one of them. <laughs> Actually. Uh, yeah, okay, I think I think we'll we'll try and fix that. Uh, have I got parts for a timer? Yep. It appears as though there's no battery on this though. What about the engine work? Off. 
see. Oh gosh. Timer. So depictions. Air wheel. Air wheel. Air wheel. Air wheel. Oh, hang on. And start. I don't know if that's going to work or not. We'll give it a go. Uh, did that actually start? I know it didn't start because no power, but that yeah, it is working. Okay, so we lift this up. Then maybe, if we're lucky, we might actually uh, get some wheels attached. That would be good. Um, that one? Yeah, that one. Wheels could not attach. That's because of the boxes, probably. No. What? Why are you not locking? Oh, because I'm in the wrong thing. That's why. Yeah. All the wheels attach. Yes. Nice. Okay. Why didn't the lemon uh, the har harvester, combine harvester, do that? I don't know. Anyway, that's cool. I like that. Uh, we might need to put a battery or something in it so it can actually keep its lights on. Uh, we'll let future ones worry about that. We'll just dump this out the front. All right. So I'm just going to tidy up around here and get rid of those things that. Uh, that I got thrusters on the back and stuff and uh, yeah and then I'll get into making stage the first stage of uh, of a rocket ship so that's the sort of plan because it'll be a two stage ship yeah right uh, might have got a little bit sidetracked fixing this, which is mostly fixed. I need to do some painting underneath. And yeah, I don't know what's that colour that it's meant to be. Uh, but yeah, I sort of sort of finished off most of it. Quite pretty well. Uh, let's go for a little bit of a drive. Got the old flashing lights on. Oh, don't crash into that. Hmm, it's real good. I don't know where we're going to stick it. I mean, I'll just stick it here for now, but uh, ooh, don't turn too quickly because it's not very stable. Yeah, so got a little bit carried away with that, but it's night time, so why not? Uh, yeah, I'll have to jack it up and just turn that off. Uh, jack it up and yeah, sort out that stuff on there because I think it needs another tank as well so and I'll put some batteries on so that the lights can be on all, this, all the time uh yeah okay I like that that's cool very nice uh yeah we need to finish that off and stick it up in the paddock as well which yeah uh anywho right let's get on to doing this I'll just switch those off just there around me uh, yeah, okay, so let's drag some of these things out to make a start. Just check out here. Yes. Uh, probably on a side. Let me think. No, I better put it up right. One. So I don't completely know what I'm doing here. In fact, I have to say I don't have much of an idea. Just trying to that one. Okay. So that's sort of the tank. 
there. Just wondering how far apart. If I make these three apart, the tank will go there. Yeah. Three, three apart. So let's make it just this colour to start with. And yeah, we need some stuff. Uh, I'm sorry, that's. And some of those, and we'll grab some parts for all lower bats. Okay, so we put them on there, them on there. Hmm, do kind of need to be able to get up there, but anyway. Uh, what about. Maybe I put some cargo containers on. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Something thrust there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen, eleven, twelve. Twelve. And how many have I got in here? Not twelve. Well, I probably do have twelve. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's a few there. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to definitely go out and find some more stuff. So I want this to be like a booster module, and then have another ship on top of it, so that this will get me into orbit. And it can stay out there, and I'll have solar panels and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of the plan. If I stick them in there, I think. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, and then I'll put the uh, tanks on there. And we'll put here four, one, two, three, four. So I'll have to do the same thing again. A couple of those. Uh, and then. out of there. Come on. I'll just grab it on top. Roll it. Yeah. Okay. And then... Okay. 
That's good. Uh, drag you around like that. And it should be facing the right way. that up I think it was that side there wasn't it should have put a mark on the front or something but I'm pretty sure it's that way there yep okay so that just needs to go boom up on there and that one is then the two of them need to go dunk up on there Right, I'll do that for the other two, and then we'll grab the glider and use that to lift them up. Just spotted those before. Uh, so that, we must have run out of ice. So we'll get some more of that at some point. Uh, not that we'll probably be filling up these tanks in the immediate future. So we'll need to make a dock for them, because I don't... Uh, no, maybe I could fill them up, but anyway. Sort that one out. Right, so let's just get that. So we can just go dunk up on there. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Right. Let's just crack this up again. I don't think I need it right now. I might regret that decision. Come on. Right. Uh, that button there. Okay. On to the next thing. So that's. It's got those sorted. Oh, the sun's coming up already. Ugh. Okay, uh, what I might do is just put, well, I might put one of those in there, okay, let's grab them. Why did I get rid of that stand thing there? I'm going to need that. <laughs> I'm going to need, why did I get rid of it? Why did I just do the wrong thing? Again. Hmm. Okay. So that's like that. That's good. Now, what I'm thinking is like these I need to go that way beams down like that and potentially here will be a T-junction same with you 
and you. So I'm thinking just two thrusters. Whoops, like that, like that. And we'll do the same with here. If I can work it properly. <laughs> uh, probably need this. Do those to the night. I don't know which way they went on. Uh, yeah, I guess the smart thing to do would just be to weld them up. So grab some stuff. And I'm going to need a whole lot of. a lot of these as well. So, okay, let's just. Okay, see, so like that's the wrong way. like that. Uh, yeah, that's that's right. And then that, that, and then you'll be. So I'll just do one, and then I'll probably. Maybe turn the camera off for a little bit. <laughs> uh, so I'd quite like to get this sort of done. That's not the right way. Whoops, that wasn't the right thing to do. It's all gone wrong. No. No. Ugh. Let's just try that again. Small grid. Okay, and then I'll put like one of these blocks on in pieces. And then I'll put a magnetic plate on. And I'm going to duplicate that down here, down here, other side, and down there as well. So that'll give me sort of a decent base to work from. Let's just grab... Actually, I might bring the whole thing out. Would probably be easier. I'm trying. A little bit closer.
the roof it. Uh, but yeah, okay, so that's interesting how they're a bit darker. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. And as I say, I'll put a landing gear on the bottom there. And yeah, that way it's just kind of the same the same look as, well, not that so much, but uh, as this here as the glider. So it's using using these sorts of angles. So I think that's a pretty good way to go. Keep it in the same family. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. Well, given that that took me a very long time just to do two of them, I expect that it's going to take a very long time to do more than two. Uh, yeah. So I guess I'll see you in the morning because, yeah. <laughs> Well, that didn't actually take as long as what I thought, and sun's just got. Oh, hang on, let's not, let's not look away on that until I turn it off. Just get that down into uh, somewhere where I can reach things. Uh, yes, so we'll try that again. Sun is coming up. Uh, there it is. Yay. Energy low. Oh, need some energies. We'll uh, just put this away, I think. Give us some energies. Here. Job done. Uh, yeah, so I just I just dragged this back in there. So there's four thrusters left in there. And I've got all these ones on. And uh, yeah, so now I'm kind of in the position that I kind of knew I was going to be in, which is that I need to find more parts. Hmm. Right. So. That will go on there, and that will go on there. Now, I'm just also thinking about how this is going to work. So, I never really had a full idea in my mind. I mean, clearly I had that idea in my mind, but that still escapes me. <laughs> um, yeah. So, initially what I was thinking was... that there would be like, on the nose, there would be like a, a shuttle-y type ship. Like Starship. So, we'd have the booster and the Starship. Because the idea is, is that this booster is to get up into orbit, and then when it's up in orbit, I can use a shuttle. Um, that I can just leave this at the sort of orbital interface, or maybe I have a base up there or something, or a satellite relay to sort of carry on. So I use this to get up there. It would also have the capacity to actually lift some of these heavier blocks, like the oxygen tanks or batteries or something. Um, and then if I want to go out flying, I don't need to take the whole thing. I can just take the the shuttle, the, the small bit. Um, so initially it was going to be on the front, but actually now I'm looking at it. The reason why it's going to be on the front is because I was planning on having solar panels that would be here and would fold out on both sides and then when while it was sitting in order, uh, orbit it could be recharging but I'm just actually wondering is that what I want to do or am I better having a satellite because actually I don't need to launch I mean the idea of having fold away solar panels would be then they wouldn't get in the way but I don't actually need to launch them because this isn't going to use power as such to get up there um, so I'd probably be better having a satellite that it just connects to when it gets there. And then if I did that, I could just have the shuttle on top. So space shuttle styles. Now that I look at it, I think that's probably the best option. Because then I can also use the shuttle thruster to assist going up. Okay. I think, I think I've made up my mind. Uh, so, like that. And then I'll have... I need to get up higher. Can I put... Yeah. 
So I think the upshot is, is that this is not going to get finished today. <laughs> Which I knew it was not going to get finished today, but I don't think it's even going to get finished anytime soon. Because I'm going to have to get some more parts. So that's... Oh, I need more steam now. Yeah, I need more parts. Um, and I know I could, well I think, because I don't know, I think I could go into space and probably get the stuff, because space, I haven't seen much of it in Scrapyard, but I think there's plenty of stuff up there, like random encounter type stuff, and when you find one of those, you're just about, you're just about sorted. So I'm very keen just to take my time and not necessarily do things the quick way. So this is, I've said it before, this is a little bit of a rerun of Hyphestus Prime where I'm just doing stuff the way that I want to do them. You know, like I'm building a big base I mean, the reality is I've seen other people who have just about got into space within the first, you know, <laughs> few hours. Which you can do. It is possible. Uh, but, yeah, no, I'm just keen on actually just having a bit of fun building stuff. I don't have a particular story in mind. Uh, when I say story, I'm talking about, you know, a, a narrative. It's just, uh, yeah, find stuff. and So I'm keen... To build this and really have it finished when it goes up. I'm just adding these on because I think that's what I want to do. Uh, so that means finding more thruster components. Hmm. So with that in mind. I was just contemplating putting, when I moved that over there, that big uh, cargo container, I was contemplating about putting it in here. Because this has got components and um, ingots in it. So I was thinking that I could put the other container here and say that this has got ores and ingots. And mine some ice using this, and then the ice would stay here. Uh, rather than being on there. Uh, do I want O2 generators on this? Hmm, I might, you know. Now, if I had this... Oh, you know what I'm thinking? Now that i put that on there, this might be better with three. Because I think in space... I want to use this as my main base, because space is dangerous, how I understand it. I want to use this as my main base, and potentially bring stuff back down. I think I'm going to put those on here. I think that's what I want to do. And then I'll need to go find some more. So the upshot is we need to go out finding more stuff. And I think that the behemoth... Once I leave some ice here, I think the behemoth is going to go for a drive maybe over to Halfway House. Down that uh, canyon that I scoped out earlier and that would get me onto the big desert. And yeah, then there's only one bit that I don't know if I can get up onto the green plateau. I mean, I know I can. I can go up that way, as it were, sort of up, up through there. But I prefer to go across the desert. Hmm, okay, that's, that's making me think. Okay, I'm going to put this back on as well. On, up. So, reverse you. Uh, yeah. I think that's the way to go. So it means 
we will be on Earth like for a little bit longer. So the other thing with this is cool. Uh, yeah, because I was going to have the solar sort of fold out of this gap, but even then I wasn't confident that that was going to happen. So no, I think space shuttle styles, because then we'll have on this side we'll have the the gantry that it connects to. Oh, that's a point gantry because I'll need to I won't be able to just jetpack up into it. I'll have to actually have a ladder to climb into it. Yeah, and that's that's going to be up in uh, up in this area up here. Yeah, okay. So that'll be up here somewhere. Hmm, okay, well, I think, I think I've got a few ideas, of, uh, not ideas, but I think I've got a little bit of a, a pathway of where I'm going, and maybe how I'm going to get there, maybe, even maybe. Um, yeah, but no, I quite, I quite like this, this is, this is good, I almost feel that I need some cross beams there to strengthen it up, so we'll, we'll sort that out, that's all fine, uh, put these on, now these, I have, oh I didn't name that one, so, I've gone with a, just a working thing of scrapyard, orbiter, uh, salvage orbiter, scrap orbiter 22. And it appears my capsule is on. I wish my computer was a little bit. Because my keyboard doesn't actually tell me when it's on, there's no light that comes on. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so that's that's a that's a working a working name. So yeah, that's what I've gone with there. This side twenty two. This twenty two. This side twenty two. So yeah, that's kind of what I, I just really want to dip my toes into space. Uh, I think I have a a bit more of a plan of when I decide to move to space. I think I know what that looks like. And I think that is not moved up. Yeah, I think I know what that looks like in my mind. None of those are welded up. Uh, yeah. So that's that. Uh, need to go there. Can I just do that? No. I need to copy it. So I'll put all these things in groups as well. But I think that's a good start. That gives me... Yeah, I think that's a good start. Let me just get this upright. Uh, and then I think I might take the glider and the barge out and maybe see if we can find some stuff. I need to put one on as well. Good. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. I'll put that on and yeah, I'm just just thinking about time as well. I'll tear it out of time, not not oh, what is there? Yeah, I'll tear it out of time, not uh not earth like time. So it might be time to pull the pin, I think. We'll just get these things on. Uh, and then I tell you what, I'll I will put that I'm going to put that cargo container in there, and that will be me for today. I think. Uh, yeah, that's it's, it's a start. It's a start. I think that's a good start actually, I, and I quite like the look of it. And oh gosh, that was not good flying. Yeah, I think I think that is. to start <laughs> what, what more can I say uh, but yeah there's there's a, there's a long way to go that yes Ooh, a little bit of bang and 
but I certainly think taking that stomper out again because that does make uh, one thing I did learn with or future well told me he learned uh, with going around the planet was uh, yeah the barge is good but I think the stomper got more stuff because you do use you, you waste a bit of time flying around whereas the and I think I probably missed a few things as well because I was flying so quick so for what I was trying to do to circumnavigate I think that was actually pretty good let's just dock on here I think it was a pretty good way to go and especially now that I've got the charge points but I still think there is a place for the stomper I was a bit worried that I wasn't even going to use it yet let's just get a better view of that pop you down do that okay so yeah oh I didn't want to lock that on there because I was going to move that container wasn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah oh we can move that with the with the lifty thingy mm. um, so actually with that in mind I probably need to put those batteries on recharge because it didn't recharge because our batteries I did notice before they weren't actually full maybe that's changed I can't remember what was over here I was picking up that helicopter that's right oh no they look full now don't they Oh, no, they're not actually. Hmm. So, so we might need to actually even consider a... I was going to say... No, I don't think we will, actually. I was going to say a, a hydrogen engine, but uh, no, I think I think we're right with that. Uh, well, maybe we do. Hmm. Uh, anyway, uh, let's just do that. So they're all the same colour now. I was just wondering how yellow would look. Oh, maybe that yellow. Hmm, let's have a bit of a think on that. Purple. Is it a little line green? We've done teal. Maybe. Oh, yeah. It's like lavender. That'll do the trick. Uh, let's just rock you back over, I think. Oh, that shouldn't have gone right down either. That should not have gone right down, because I didn't start it off right down. I don't know where I started it. We'll just put that on 45 for now, because that was that was a mistake. That's what I was around about. Now. Oh yeah, that's that's uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that'll work, and a won't sort of work sort of way. Nice. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's just move this stuff and try and fit this. And yeah, I have to move this out of the way. Uh, yeah. Gently does it. It'll just sneak under there, which it kind of does. Right, put you back on here. Put that tree there. 
Uh, right. That's, uh... That's good. I, I need to do something about that because it's so annoying having to duck under there all the time. Right, so let's grab you. I'll tell you what, more that I think about it, I think that taking the behemoth out is the way to go. And I won't do it right now, but maybe that's... Maybe I'll get my old mate Future Wellington to do that and take it out for another trip. Suffice. Whoops. I don't know. Somebody keeps leaving all the stuff around everywhere. I don't think I need another warehouse, but I don't know. It's getting a little cluttered in here. I just think things need to be better organised. Get some shelves or something. Who left those there? I think, I think my problem is I'm hitting the roof. Maybe if I just lift it up a smudge. Yeah, just a smudge. Should be enough. Ah. See what, well, it was almost there, wasn't it? Of, kind of can line it up down that side. Or maybe, maybe. Yes! <laughs> I think that was pretty good. Oh, somebody's going to have to clean up all this stuff. Uh, same color, eh? What? Oh, I need to finish it. This might take access tonight. Hey, there might be stuff in there. I just assume that I checked the, in this. There's nothing in there. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll paste that there. And then, so this is going to be... We'll do ingots. Oh. Oh, whoops. Ingots, ores. Oh, why does my caps keep going on? Ingots ores. And this one will be components and tools. So now that's that. And when we put the ice in, that'll all end up in there, I think. Though in saying that, those containers are probably called ice, aren't they? Uh, they are... No, they're only called ice. They're not actually called ores. Okay, well that's good. So that is that, and that tidies up that a bit more. There's a little less stuff in there, so that's good. Just wonder if I put the ammo in there. No, we'll keep, keep the ammo in here. So this one probably needs to be renamed ammo. Ammo. 
Maybe put the... No, we'll leave it in there. It's fine. Uh, so that should pull everything out. Okay, so somebody's got to fix that wall. I guess it's going to be me. Uh, yeah, so that's that's good. I'll need to put some uh, like data panels up on there as well. I should really do that so I don't no, so I know what's in them. Um, yeah, I'll take this thing out for a little bit of a dig. Might just do that now. Get some more ice. Um, but yeah, that's I think that's that's pretty good. We we'll have to think about a landing pad, launch pad. So yeah, there's there's stuff to do here. Um, how do I work this again? So I want to probably unlock would be the first thing. Back up and then lift. So there's not much traction when it's empty. Right, we'll just get over here. It's a little bit of a the lever here. Look at that one, 600 meters away. So we'll just go down here, I think. And, uh, yeah, so... I think that's where I'm going to leave it today. I've done more than enough, I feel. Uh, how do I work this again? It's been so... Ooh, okay, that's not how I do that. I want to turn that off, don't I? <laughs> I just... I forget. Uh, and we just cruise along. Cool. Uh, yeah, so that's where I'm going to call it. Um, I think that's enough. Uh, so yeah, next time I think we'll just continue to work on the uh, habitation, the house, my house, the grand design, uh, and yeah, do some work on that, we'll just tidy up things I think, and yeah, I need to do some work on that bus as well, so I think a lot of it will kind of be off camera just during the week, my week ahead, uh, when I can get sort of five minutes here and there. I think we'll need to go for a bit of a fly, get some more stuff. I feel like that's not as deep as the other trench, but it's fine. We are filling up nicely, are we? Yeah, look at that. I mean, I'm already just about full. Oh, that'll be good. Yes, yeah, this is why it'd be good to have the big, the glass container. And if I just creep forward like this, it does get everything I sort of want. Mm. Uh, yeah, so things to do. But as I say, I'm sort of doing this at my own kind of pace, just uh, just to build some stuff and do things, some things that I want to do, rather than just rush into it. Uh, so it's so tempting just to get up into space, but from what I understand, that's going to be quite a different beast up there. So uh, I think it's good just to stay down here and just continue to to enjoy enjoy this and. Yeah, we'll, we'll deal with space later. So that's just probably full now. I mean, look at that. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think that's very good actually. So we'll turn that off. Lift that up. Okay. So that will all end up in that nice new cargo container. I may as well go and dock this. And then we'll, um, we'll see how the cargo container goes. Uh, yeah, probably getting a launch tower is going to be kind of a priority for, yeah, getting a launch tower happening because then we can fill up the hydrogen tanks, which would be good. And I think if I do find an engine, I should bring one back just, just to be on the safe side. So let's get this on top. Glad somebody put those uh, guidelines on there, that helps. Uh, let's get a timer lower wheels for us. Okay, so we'll turn you, stop you. And, oh, there it is, 
there. That's what I want. Oh, we've got this engine. We can use that. Okay, let's not worry about finding an engine then. I keep forgetting about this thing. Uh, I have actually cleaned that up once. <laughs> not with the last lot of stuff. Okay, so now... Look at that. 300. Perfect. That's what we want. And now that's empty, which is good. I mean, if we do head off, we will... Because it's got hydrogen tank. No, I don't think it does. I think it's only got the O2 gens, which is enough to set the engine going. So, yeah, just having that mobile base really is quite good. Uh, yes, so that's that. I need to publish that. And I need to fix the hole I just made in the shed. But no, that's, that's good. And yeah, up here somewhere, sort of kind, of kind of on this bit. I mean, we could probably come over here a little bit. Maybe just up up here somewhere, um, but that'll be the launch. Unless I made it over here, that could probably make sense. I oh, will stick it somewhere. Um, yeah, we'll have a launch pad. Yeah, pro probably up here somewhere. This is a bit of a gap. Uh, we'll have a launch pad for and a launch tower that we can connect the um, the lavender rocket up to and yeah it's not really lavender it's more of a periwinkle well, it's not even a periwinkle I don't know what colour it is but it's purple mauve mm. the mauve marauder mm. anyway that's where I'll call it because now I'm going nuts uh, thank you everybody for joining me today I hope you did enjoy today's episode and can join me again next time when we will as I say just continue with more shenanigans around here uh, and until next time, as always, stay safe out there everybody, and have a good one.